Hey, welcome everyone to Simply Delicious Season 3. My name is Chef Ali Youssef and today I have very talented and amazing chef, Chef Mahdi Tahiri. Hi, Chef. Hello. Hi. I'm happy to be here with you guys on the show and uh, looking forward to what we're going to do today. Great. What are you going to cook for us? Uh, I'm creating today an original dish, uh, which we're going to call it on TV, the Upside Down Umbrella. Wow. Yeah? Sounds the, surprising to me. Yes. It's, a, it's an all new dish, uh, maybe the first of its kind. I don't know if it's have been done in the world or not, but uh, surely it's the first of its kind here. Uh, made from the uh, fresh kind of ingredients that we have here with the uh, fantastic herbs that we provide. Great, great. We should get started then. Of course. Uh, in the beginning, we need to know the difference between uh, uh, the, the ingredients that we have. Okay, we have the uh, fresh ingredients and we have the dried ingredients. And of course, we have our meat. Yeah, so uh, uh, the dish itself is mainly made from shrimps or prawns, if you, if you want to say. Okay, and it has a taste of uh, bacon. Yeah. So what we're trying to do here, we're trying to do stuffed mushroom, okay, and present the shrimp on top of it in two. So in the end, it looks like uh, an upside down umbrella. Yeah. Nice. So Sounds in the beginning, cool. uh, uh, let's uh, talk about our uh, ingredients. Uh, we have shrimps, we have bacon, uh, we have Parmigiano Reggiano, we have Montreal Jack cheese, yeah, we have uh, uh, red onion. Uh, mushrooms, white mushrooms, and preferably they should be a little bit big. Big, yeah. yeah. And uh, lemon, parsley, mostly the parsley will be uh, giving the Italian uh, sort of taste. Garlic, and then uh, salt and pepper, and the dry herbs will be a little bit of chicken stock powder, which uh, is optional, by the way, if you don't want to use it. Yeah. We have the sun dried tomatoes, okay, we have the uh, 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 paprika, uh, sweet uh, paprika. We have the uh, hot uh, cayenne pepper, a uh, little bit of uh, oregano, a little bit of uh, thyme, uh, black pepper, which is crushed. And as you can see, we have the whole black pepper. Uh, preferably, if you have the, uh, the ones that is fr uh, the whole, it's much better to use. And if you don't have, you can use the uh, crushed black pepper. And of course, uh, we have the chili flakes. Yeah, and that, this chili flakes, if you want to add a little bit of heat to your dish, and if you don't want it to be that a little bit spicy, you can eliminate that. So we can consider it as a half optional. Yeah, the first thing we need to do is prepare our uh, mushrooms so they can go directly to the oven. the oven. Yeah, so the first thing we need to do is grate the cheese. I, uh, I think I'm going to give you the uh, opportunity to small, do this. Small jobs. Small jobs. <laughs> you can do the Montreal Jack, which is uh, we're going to use that for the uh, uh, mushrooms. And right. meanwhile, I'll take the bacon and I'll start to chop the bacon into small, fine chops, which then will be mixed with the cheese and stuffed into the mushroom. Yeah. So yeah. using a knife, we basically go and do uh, do you want to tell me more about uh, Ship Mahdi's journey and how did you start it and what inspired you? Oh, uh, it took me around 15 years uh, into the culinary uh, 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 background, basically. Right. Yeah, and uh, be, uh, the, the main thing that made me interested into these things is, uh, was actually, surprisingly, my mother. Yeah? She is a passionate home uh, cook and uh, she used to do a lot of these kind of dishes where you can feel that uh, she has her personal touches to it. So things like that makes you, uh, makes you wonder like, uh, what would the field of culinary be like, you know? So uh, eventually uh, I started studying how the, the culinary arts work and then step by step, I started uh, getting the basics and from the basics build up on it until I reached to uh, the position where I am now. So uh, it's, it's a very interesting field. I would recommend whoever has passion in food to join into this field. I mean, I personally trained a lot of people to, uh, in, in the culinary arts and, uh, and they became a successful chefs in Bahrain and outside of Bahrain as well. So cool. uh, this is a very interesting uh, background that you guys uh, need to it incorporate. It's very in, so. interesting, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we chopped our bacon, okay? And maybe uh, if you like a lot of bacon, you can add more. 
so what we're gonna tr do now, remove the bacon and put it separately. Just like that. Okay, we're gonna get back to the bacon in a while. I'll just put it here. Your cheese is ready. Okay, fantastic. All right, so we have two ways of doing this. We can saute the, uh, the uh, bacon. Bacon, yeah. Okay. okay, or we can immediately just mix it with the cheese and let it go directly to the oven. And then the difference between them is that one of them is gonna be more juicier than the other. Yeah? yeah. When you saute the bacon, it's gonna lose the moisture inside of it, and then uh, it would be a little bit of cr crunchiness, crispiness, most of people like that. Uh, I personally prefer that. Uh, so I think what we need to do uh, in this sense is to finish from chopping all of our ingredients and then suddenly move to sauteing them. Yeah? Right. So you did a good job in that. Thank you. Up, up, up. All right. So we take the parsley. This okay. is how I start cooking. And I know a lot of people will say, you just chopped some bacon here and you put it parsley on top of it. We're going to cook it anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. It's going to go yeah? together anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And in the end, all these type of bacons, the ones you see, are basically smoked. So this is cooked. You can easily take one and, and eat it. Would you like to eat uh, fresh bacon? I love it. Yeah. So it's already cooked, so no, no worries from that, yeah? You make... Do you want me to do this as well? Uh, this will be... Uh, mostly we'll use it for the garnishing in the end. All right. Because it's too salty, we don't want the... Uh, no. Or you can, if you, if you want to add a little bit. Later, we'll do that later. Um, you mentioned earlier that you did the uh, training classic. Do you want to tell us more about it? Uh, well, uh, uh, when I started in the uh, uh, in social media, basically, uh, it was, uh, I think, around three to four years ago. And then uh, 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 it's where people got accepted as being chefs in Bahrain and all of this. And now as anywhere you go, it's like, oh, you're a chef, you're a chef. So I've realized that people got more open to it. And uh, this led me to say that, okay, since I've been into the field and I've been hidden for quite some time, now people are more adaptive to it. So why don't, why don't you, Chef Tahiri, start uh, teaching the young generation how to do what we did, but in the- Very uh, nice in, of you, actually. In a shortcut way. So uh, people started approaching me. They saw the, within like a, uh, two years ago or three years ago, we made a YouTube channel and we started uh, putting videos online. I got approached with a lot of students who were like, uh, chef, we want to learn, we just need to know the basics. And basically this is what I give them. I don't give them recipes. I give them the basics of how to, how to manage the kitchen. Okay. Yeah? Because everybody can give you a recipe. And for sure 90% of the chefs will never reveal their own uh, personal touches. Yeah? Absolutely. So teach them the basics. And, and the most important thing is, the dishes that you make, the dishes that you make, are their own, uh, are your own dishes. So you don't have to uh, ask for what am I gonna add, what am I not. It's your personal preference, yeah. So just know the basics: how you use a knife, how you basically store your uh, uh, produce. You know, like uh, um, if you have shrimp, how you put it uh, in the fridge, and how you can extend the shelf life of all of this. So all of these things make sense, and these are the things that they need to learn. So. From there, they go into the beginner phase, which is how to make the chopping, how to prepare the parmesan plus and all of this. So uh, from there, they enter their own kitchens and they become creative. In the end, the they call it culinary arts. It's a creativity based, yeah? So you become your own chef and you create your own dish. Yes, there are traditional dishes and there are famous dishes. You can learn them, it's easy. You can find them everywhere. But then to put your personal touch on them, that's something wonderful. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we have our chopped parsley. We're gonna remove that as well. Interesting story. <laughs> All right, so what I need you to do is grab a mushroom, push it down, push it up, and remove the center. That was easy. The stem. <laughs> yeah? yeah? And you can have them here. All right, so uh, simple technique. Push down push up and the center stem will come out. Right. So, 
As you can see, uh, there is a small hole here, which we will stuff uh, the ingredients in, okay? We have the cheese that you made. Uh, we're gonna take uh, the bacon, uh, the cheese is there, and chop some mush, uh, sorry, uh, the garlic. garlic. We're getting everything ready and get back to you shortly. So up to here, we got the onion ready, garlic, everything is ready, right? Yes, sure. uh, at this stage, everybody knows that our mise en place is ready. So the first thing we need to do, we will take our chopped bacon and uh, on top of a hot uh, frying pan, without any oil, we're gonna add our bacon. Yeah? Okay. And the reason why we didn't add any oil is because the bacon itself has a lot of fat and the fat intends to uh, melt down and becomes and turns into the oil itself, okay? So what we're trying to do here is now just give it some color. Uh, we're not gonna do it so, uh, super crispy. Uh, as I said, if it's your preference, if you wanna do it more crispy, we're just gonna give it a little bit of color, remove it and mix it with the cheese and the other ingredients, yeah? Meanwhile, we're gonna bring the cheese, okay? And we're gonna put some parsley, or we can do the we can add the parsley here if we want. Yeah. All right. Mix it with the bacon. Let it get some flavor. That's fine. Yep. All right. So you also do help uh, food businesses and uh, oh yeah, uh, creating I, a new menu. I do. I do a lot of consulting for a lot of businesses, uh, from basically uh, uh, planting the seed until the tree grows. Yeah. So from having an idea into creating a concept, training the staff, uh, menu uh, building, uh, uh, the entire shebang. We, uh, uh, me and my team basically go through all the aspects what business needs. And from there, uh, we do a market study. If the business is reliable, uh, we recommend it to the customer. Otherwise, we tell them avoid going through that step because it's a failure. So, uh, I mean, I've been in a lot of businesses myself. Uh, which gave me a lot of things to consider when it comes to starting a business. Okay. So, basically, this is the color that we need, okay? Just add a little bit of oregano and a little bit of thyme. Yeah, you like it spicy? Me, yes, personally, right. I love spicy food. That's a little bit of spiciness, just a little bit, okay? We're gonna take this. Do you, want to, do you want to tell me more about your quarantine oh, kitchen? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, we took an advantage uh, from this uh, uh, unfortunate event that we have, and uh, uh, we did a quarantine kitchen uh, concept uh, that helps everybody in Bahrain and outside of Bahrain, all of our followers, on how to utilize their free time sitting at home using the ingredients that they have at home. I'm sure most of the people who uh, purchase stuff in the, uh, call, uh, in the supermarkets and all, usually stuck a lot of uh, things in the cupboard and then they forget about it. You know, one of these things is like uh, small macaroni packets or, or let's say corn, uh, uh, corn in a cup or whatever, yeah. you know? So all of these things are stackable items which people intend to forget. And the Quarantine Kitchen came as an idea of how to help uh, the, uh, the, in, the people at home uh, using their material to create their own specific dishes and in the same time uh, participate in the social distancing, you know? So uh, it, it is fun. It is something that uh, it's not a formal, uh, we can say it's not a formal uh, program. So there is no like, uh, action and cut and all of this. No, it's a formal program. You will see my children running around. My wife is on the background taking videos. So it's a family uh, interaction uh, uh, clip. That's cool, that's cool. Actually. And uh, I've, I've seen that a lot of uh, people got adapted to it. And from there, uh, other chefs of Bahrain got interested and they started doing their own quarantine kitchen concept. And I'm happy about it. And I shouted out to all the chefs of Bahrain for doing such a thing. Yeah, so now we took the bacon, we're basically now mixing it with the cheese. With the cheese. Okay, you can see the color, yeah? Oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So, more cheese, the better the cheese, the tastier it gets. This is where the say cheese came from. 
say cheers. <laughs> okay. uh, that's all I was going to ask you about uh, say cheers. Yes, say cheese is a concept. Uh, say cheese truck or something. It's yeah. a food truck. Uh, yeah. It's a say cheese grilled cheese sandwich food truck. So uh, uh, we create a concept uh, which is not available in Bahrain, an actual original uh, uh, concept of a grilled cheese sandwich. And uh, we called it say cheese, you know? All right. So everybody keeps passing by and say say cheese and all. So say meanwhile, uh, we can take this and you can stuff these into the mushroom. I like stuffing yeah. things, you know? <laughs> So the say cheese uh, got developed and uh, it created a trend. You know, a lot of people pass by and then you see the passing by with the car, say cheese, and they, they go all along. So we introduced 10 sandwiches uh, that are unique, not available in Bahrain. Uh, and they have a specific, uh, uh, specific target for people who are that much in love with cheese, you know? Right. And uh, thanks to God, it has been a success from the day that we opened. And we've received a lot of nice feedbacks from our customers. That's great to hear, actually. And in the same time, uh, which nobody knows, Say Cheese was a demo to the, the, to the uh, consultancy of creating a food truck business. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we have our stuffed mushrooms. We need to take the oven pan okay uh, you have two ways to do this either you can use a, a baking sheet or which I like to do take a little bit of sun-dried tomato olive oil just like that yeah we use to distribute it this way and then you just put the mushrooms like that Yep. Okay. You can you can feel the smell of the uh, sun-dried tomato. Yes, I uh, do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now this will go directly to the oven uh, in a, in 200 degrees or 180 degrees for about 10 minutes to, to 15 minutes. Now, depending on uh, how dark you want it to get, if you want it to melt down fast, you go higher. If you want it to slow cook, you can bring it down to 160 degrees and keep it for another 20 minutes. Great to know, Chef Mahdi. Okay. It's hot, it's hot. And voila. All right. You can feel that aroma. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He's yes. starting to go into another level of... Uh, I, I, I feel like I don't have time. <laughs> I just feel I don't have time to do the plating, actually. <laughs> yeah, usually this is how it goes at home. As soon as it's ready, before even I uh, put the plate, <laughs> it's already gone. It's gone. You know? All right, so we are here in the end of our plating. We just use a nice looking dish. Okay, we take a tong. And what we do, uh, fun fact, again, if you're plating a dish that has uh, things like mushrooms or whatever that are singular item, always use odd numbers. That means when you're plating, use an odd number, either three, five, or seven. You know, and, nine. and uh, you know, you know, the reason behind of this is because it looks much, much better when you want to take a photo than regular numbers. So this is one. Choose the nice looking ones. This is two. All right. Now we have our shrimps here. We have our plate. What we need to do is do a little bit of garnish. basically take remaining of your parsley a little bit of oregano give it some color and if you want to go a little bit with a finer touch a little bit of your oil preferably olive oil or sun-dried tomato oil. This is basically our dish. 
uh, it's a fast, fantastic starter or one of the uh, best used in parties. <laughs> oh yes, that's true, very true. Right guys, um, that was it for the episode today and that was the dish, what you call it? Upside umbrella? Upside down umbrellas. Upside Look at down them. umbrella. That was uh, our episode. Thank you, thank you very much, Chef Mahdi It's Tahiri. a pleasure and an honor It's to be been here. great having you around and hope you guys enjoy watching us. And again, watch us again next Monday on Bahrain International TV. And thank you for watching. Thank you.